Hey guys, today we're checking out these 1990s era new old stock flashlights I picked up. These are Super Mighty Lights by Pelican. They were advertised as the world's most powerful pocket light. The guy had a whole case of these. They were 50 cents each, so I grabbed two. These came out in 1993. They use a xenon incandescent bulb. It's got a little key ring at the end. There's some paperwork in there. The instruction manual. Yeah, this was made by the same Pelican that makes those plastic cases. That plastic clip is going to break off. I do like the texture of the plastic though. Nice molding. It's got that pebble grain finish to it. Now when I look inside the lens, there's some kind of flakes or something inside there, which is not a good sign. Let's open this up. Hmm. There's those flakes. Not looking good. Yeah, there's a spring attached to this bulb assembly, and it appears to be corroded to the battery inside. I can't pull it out. Oh well, that's why we got two of them. So I actually did open one of these up before paying for them, and there were no batteries in it. I guess I just assumed that none of them had batteries in there, so I didn't check the second one. But they were only 50 cents. It's like an impulse buy. Alright, so this is the empty one. So someone must have took the batteries out of it at some point. Or they screwed up at the factory. Let's grab a AAA battery and see if it works. Or two batteries. It takes two. Two batteries. Okay, got another battery. That's feeling much better. Let's screw the lens back on. The lens acts as the switch. You twist it down to turn it on. Actually, this isn't that bad for an incandescent pocket light. I was expecting it to be much more dim. Pelican still has the documentation for this on their website. It looks like it's supposed to be 11 lumens. It seems like it's a little brighter than that. Here's the mighty light on the left at 11 lumens. A 20-year-old Streamlight AAA LED is in the middle. And on the right is a Surefire G2 with LED upgrade. So yeah, the mighty light is not very bright. I did EDC this guy for a couple of days. The batteries run down pretty quick. It's okay as an inspection light, or for walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night. The stuff I use my little stream light for. I don't like the twist on and off, but I'm not really going to be EDCing this on a regular basis. My 20-year-old stream light is smaller and brighter, and the batteries last longer. As for the other guy with the corroded batteries, I was able to get the bulb out, but the spring is still stuck in there. So I'm going to clamp it in the vise and spray some deoxid in there. Hopefully that will dissolve some or all of the corrosion. And we'll leave this to soak overnight. Alright, it's been a couple of days. I was able to get the spring out, but the battery is still stuck in there. My plan is to drill a hole through the top of the battery, and then use a screw or something to pull it out. This is an alkaline battery, so it's fine to do this. You do not want to go drilling holes into lithium batteries. So I can feel the battery is starting to spin in there. So now can I thread this in there? Nope. It seems pretty loose though. I think I can just grab it with a pick. Yep, 
You know, let me get some pliers because I don't want to touch that with my hands. Oh, look at that. Nasty. Let's see if I can tap the other battery out now. Nah, it's not coming out. I was going to go get a longer drill bit to try and reach down in there when I noticed something else coming out. This guy here is the copper tab. It's supposed to go all the way around the battery. It looks like it corroded all the way through and broke off. So even if I get that other battery out, it's not going to work unless I fabricate a new one of these, which we're not going to do today. It's not worth the effort for a 50 cent flashlight that isn't that bright anyway. Oh well, at least I got a spare bulb for the other one. Thanks everyone for watching. I guess the moral of the story is, don't leave batteries in something for 30 years. They don't last that long. See you later. Bye.